Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and the three main types of rocks. Sedimentary, igneous, and metamorphic rocks. Sedimentary rocks are rocks created from sediments and pressure. You can use Wedkeka to help you understand how sediment rocks are formed. The W stands for weathering. This includes the rocks being broken apart by wind, vegetation, water, and other items, which breaks the rocks apart into very small pieces called sediment. E is erosion, which are forces like wind and water that carries the sediment away. D is deposition, in which these sediments are deposited. C is compaction, which is the result of pressure compacting the sediment together. And C is cementation, where the sediments are glued and pressed together into a rock. Some examples of sedimentary rocks include this mudstone cliff, rainbow mountain, limestone cliffs, and even coal deposits. Igneous rocks are rocks born from fire. The interior of the earth can be very hot, even to the point of melting rock. If this molten rock reaches the surface, it is called lava and cools quickly. These rocks are called extrusive igneous rocks. Examples include obsidian, scoria, and pumice. Molten rock that stays inside the earth is called magma and creates intrusive igneous rocks. Examples include gabbro, granite, and basalt. The giant causeway is a result of molten basalt reaching the surface and creating these geometric rocks. Metamorphic rocks are formed when existing rocks are subjected to high temperature and pressure. The temperature isn't hot enough to melt the rock completely into a liquid, but hot enough, along with the pressure, to create new rocks. Marble is a metamorphic rock created from limestone, and slate comes from shell or mud rock. So in summary, sedimentary rocks come from sediments, igneous rocks come from heat, and metamorphic rocks are born from heat and pressure. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.